Wrapping up the AX10. I'm coming down to the last few upgrades and mods I'm doing. This time I got in the universal set for the front. I got aluminum knuckles and the chubs for the front as well. So it gives me all aluminum front. Um, the lockouts are on the way for the rear. And then we can get the hubcaps back on. And that'll be about it for this build. Just after the hubs and knuckles came in and the universal came in, I got the rear lockouts. So those will go on as well. So here's the axial knuckles and C-hubs along with the universals installed. You can barely see it there with the wheels on. Um, you got your... See hubs right there for your knuckles. And you can barely see the universal sitting right there in that hole. Like loosely, loosely screwed on the, the wheel nuts. So I'm able just to unscrew it by hand and show you. There's the stem from the from the uni upgraded universal. Give me a very sharp turning radius. Much, much more than the original. Um, one thing actually stopping it is the is the bump from where the diff is. So much better, much better steering performance from that upgrade. The servo probably won't actually even let it turn that far. The servo doesn't rotate that far in operation, so. But still, we have increased uh, increased turning. Now, I'll probably change my radio um, endpoints as well, just to help out. I'm not quite sure why Axial decided to print their logo on every single piece multiple times, but they're aluminum, and they'll work, and they won't break. Um, one thing that I noticed that was kind of, that kind of stunk is Axial didn't provide the M3 screws to attach the knuckles to the C hubs. Um, that kind of stinks because Axial provides um, self tappers because the original C hubs are plastic, so the self tappers work just fine. I was able to use the same top hats and all, but um, I had to use a uh, M3 screw that I had from another kit and I needed four of those one on top and bottom on each side but I got those installed and that was pretty simple um, also in the rear I got the lockouts installed as well um, let me unscrew this nut so I can show it a little better as well um, all of these are just screw on upgrades nothing nothing difficult about these at all once again Axial decided to print their logo on everything I like that they have set screws to um, put those in instead of um, regular button heads all of those are all set screws in there so that's pretty nice set screws as well on this side and they give you an option they, these are actually cocked back a little bit or a bit on the angle now um, versus the set plastic that the other ones were so that's the C-hubs knuckles lockout and universals for the Project Zero Axial SCX10